Welcome to my child free life. Today I'm going to talk about my relationship with alcohol and smoking. So just to preface this, if you're new here, my name is Janie and I live a child free life with my husband. We do not want children and every year that passes, we feel even more comfortable with that decision. So I am going to be doing my skincare while I talk about this. but. Before I actually talk about alcohol, I just want to say that in no way do I feel like this makes me better than anyone else. I don't feel superior just because I'm not much of a drinker or a smoker. This is just me sharing my particular child-free lifestyle because everyone does it differently. So I have never been a big drinker. My parents have been though, um, at least with beer. Nothing heavier than beer because alcoholism runs in the family, um, specifically my dad's side of the family. So I've never seen him as a child drink more than that, but he definitely would drink a lot of beer. And when we were younger, my parents loved going to parties. They would bring me along and there'd be a bunch of other little kids and there'd be a lot of dancing and drinking. And this was back before smartphones existed or computers. I mean, we had the big bulky computers with the dial-up internet. So there was nothing to do at these parties. And I remember I was just so bored and so I felt so isolated because at that time I wasn't really embracing my culture, my heritage. I didn't really care for it. I did not like Spanish music growing up and it's not until recently that that has changed. But that's my that's my earliest memories of my parents drinking. Um, it, it was always something that was done in front of my brother and I, who was like five years older than me, but never something that I was particularly interested in. I hated the smell of it. Then as like a young adult when I started drinking, I did not like it and I still don't. I really can encompass how I feel about drinking is that I don't like it. I don't drink often and for 2023 I'm trying not to drink at all just to see because I'll be honest I'm just not a big fan of the taste of alcohol whether it's wine even beer I say I like a little bit only because I'm someone who sips on any kind of beverage throughout the day so like I have my water bottle with me I'm sipping throughout the day even though I don't particularly like the taste of water either um, so that's why I'm able to consume beer a little bit more often than everything else but for the most part no I don't like how it tastes I don't like how it smells I don't like how it makes me feel the next day I don't like any of it and I thought with each passing year that that was gonna somehow change and it never has like I've never ever felt like after a long day of work or after a long work week I could do with a big glass of wine or any kind of alcoholic beverage especially liquor I cannot stand it um I cannot stand the way it tastes it's just no matter how fruity no matter what elements you add whether it's fruit whether it's juice into it like any kind of mixer I can always taste that bitter strong burning feeling of it and I don't like it even with wine especially with champagne I hate every new year's when my parents make me and my husband take a toast with this awful champagne that just tastes like garbage like, I'd rather be drinking juice I'd rather be drinking juice soda I, I I'm addicted to that type of sugar so for me those are always my beverages of choice and if I'm having a long day and I want to decompress food is what I go for I go for pizza and nachos I go for macaroni and cheese mashed potatoes those are my comfort foods that's what I love and to me alcohol has never been a coping mechanism for me alcohol has just never been fun fun so for the most part I keep it to only social activities like social drinking but even then like these past couple of years most of my friends are like wine moms they're not moms but they're like that type of thing where they're just like drinking a glass of wine or like they're having like special wine during their dinner and like I go along with it just because you know I'm with them and I'm not opposed to an occasional drink but for me, it's never been fun. And now with my newer group of friends, I feel like they're more into like all kinds of drinking and going out and going to bars and clubs and stuff. And again, not my vibe, not what I like. I mean, I don't mind going to a bar not drinking. I do it often, um, especially if there's good food there. But good company, that kind of thing, I'm always down for that. But the actual drinking of anything that is alcoholic, I just don't like the taste of it. I, I, that's it. And I don't consider myself to be better than anyone else because I feel that way. Like, I'm just not like, oh, I don't do that kind of thing. No, I just, I just don't. I just don't like it. I don't like the weirdness of having to explain why you don't drink alcohol. Like, that's, like, the default is drinking. So when you meet someone who doesn't, it's kind of like you take a step back and you're just like, oh, but why? And I, I hate that. I, I hate having to explain myself. I hate having to be like, no, I just don't like it. I just don't want it. I don't like the taste of it. I don't like spending money on it, especially in New York City. Like, alcohol, beer, all that stuff is so expensive that to me is not worth it because I, I don't like it. I wouldn't say I've had any super, I've had a couple negative experiences where I was younger, like in my early 20s drinking, but they weren't like super traumatic or anything. 
they were just times where I don't remember what I was doing or I blacked out and for safety reasons that concerns me. Um, I just don't like the idea of not knowing what I said, not knowing what happened, not knowing how I got home, not <laughs> not knowing who I was around at the time. You know, that stuff just, I'm not a fan of that and I feel like I can go out and have fun without being intoxicated in any way or by any substance. And that brings me to smoking. I'm not a smoker. <laughs> that one for me, I just never liked it. I do not like the smell of weed. I think it just smells so bad. It smells like skunks to me. I have worked with skunks before and I actually really love skunks, I'm not gonna lie. But the smell is not, is not for me. Any kind of inhaling I don't like to do. Um, I have very negative memories associated with smoking. But for me, smoking is something that more people do. Like if I were to cut out every friend, not that I want to at all, I don't judge people who smoke. But if I were to cut out every single person in my life who smokes, I would be left with maybe two or three people because I feel like everyone just does it. I don't know, like it's just overnight when I was, I remember transitioning from high school to college and I'm just like, okay, everyone does this. This is like a normal thing. Gail, so when I met Gail, that's also something that we never really talked about, but for some reason, like we ended up having a lot more in common than I realized, which is kind of silly and kind of concerning if you think about it because it took me until getting married to realize just how much <laughs> we had in common. But he's also not a super heavy drinker. Also, someone doesn't really like the taste of it. Um, occasionally we would buy like Blue Moon and drink it at home or when we go out to eat sometimes we would do that but normally I would give it the, the rest of what I had to him because I'm just a very slow sipper but at that point I might as well just give it to someone else like enjoy it yeah that's just how I felt about alcohol it's always been a thing and the older I get the more I don't like it and don't enjoy it and I don't like spending money on it um and I I hate kind of how it's considered weird to not drink you know what I mean? Like, it's just weird to me. Like, why is it so ingrained in our society to drink something that ultimately, especially long term, is not good for, for our bodies? So it's funny because you would think, since we don't want kids and we want that level of freedom, that we don't drink or smoke or anything because it's like, we have all this freedom to do whatever we want and we do. Like, I know this is kind of a random topic considering what I've been talking about lately. But yeah, I want to live kind of a sober life at least for 2023 and see how I feel about it at the end. See if, you know, like, I don't know, why not? Even if I'm not, I don't think you need to be a super heavy drinker and then transition into sober living in order for it to have some kind of impact or meaning. I think if you don't want to drink, you don't want to drink. And that's kind of where I'm at now. And I feel pretty good about it, but I'll definitely do little updates if anyone's interested in that kind of thing. I think I am going to end this video here. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I'm gonna get ready to film a bunch of other videos. So if you have any requests for this channel, let me know and I will see you soon.